Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo, we're here at the South Park Center and I'm delighted to be joined with Samina with her fantastic film, Amerigel. Let's take a look at the clip. I thought you weren't coming. Oh yeah, your lips are so red. Yeah, I just keep licking them. And the skin above too, it's also red. You should get some chapstick, it's really dark. Um, I have chapstick. Are you sure you have the right one? My chapstick makes my lips so soft. I think so. Uh, my skin is also just darker above my lips. Yeah. Why? Um, because my skin is darker. Uh, there's also some hair. Yeah. There's. Um, thank you so much for being here. And coming from New York to be here at New <laughs> Filmmakers LA, we're so honored. Thank you. Of course, um, of course. Thank you for bringing your film to us. I, you know I loved it and the audience loved it last night, but for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis of A Merry Girl. Uh, so A Merry Girl follows an 11-year-old brown girl who's at Girl Scout camp, or my own little version of Girl Scout camp that I created, and uh, her one goal is to make a friend. So that it follows her journey trying to do that and her attempts, which uh, go very wrong. And yeah, that, that's the story. I, I literally, from the, the I, I, honestly, the first take I was in the film like, I was there I was like I love the world that you created I just loved this this story that you were following it was really really fantastic Thank where you. did it come from to make to, where did the inspiration come from in, in telling this story and turn it into a film um I well I have always kept journals since I was in elementary school and so I was looking through them one day like in my basement um and I had written about Girl Scouts which I was in and then I'd also written about my time in middle school uh and I had written a few different things but there was like this one girl that I had written about who was brown, who was like really cool. Uh, and I was like, I'm brown and she's brown. And she's doing something that I'm not doing because she's, you know, she has all these friends. And I was, uh, I was like, she's so cool. And my goal is to befriend her. Um, <laughs> and uh, I had written about that. And so that, that's what the story was born out of. Uh, wow. And I sort of went through all those memories and all the things I wrote and all the feelings that I'd been feeling in middle school at the time and put them into this character in this camp. Uh, and yeah, that's that's the story. Wow, so you went back in your old journals, you turned that into a film, yeah, that's yeah. incredible. <laughs> and isn't it incredible when you go back and look at like your 11 year old self and then think to yourself, the stuff that you're consumed by, like you had to be her friend, like yeah, it's yeah. like, it had to happen. Well, I have to say, I, w I just love the, the characters, the, 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 the layout of the story that you created for us. And I especially love your lead, who I just think is like, deserves a series all by herself, Netflix, She's hello so anyone. Oh like amazing, <laughs> like how did you go about bringing your cast together? Because obviously you're working with a lot of younger people as well. How was yeah. that experience for you? Um, I mean, we went through the traditional like casting routes and then the two uh, leads that we had, we found them through Facebook groups. We hunted wow. them down. Um, and uh, they are both from Boston and so they were, their parents were willing to drive them out because uh, they, you know, met me and they were like, okay, we trust you, which I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, and we had a lot of kids on set, which was uh, a lot of chaos, but also very special, I think. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, it was great to have them and uh, working with them is definitely, I mean, I, I don't have anything to compare it to because it's my first film, so yeah. I don't know how it is different working with adults versus kids, but uh, uh, it, was, it was great and they have, they have so much energy and they're really intuitive and way smarter than you would think. Uh, yeah. So it was it was easy working with them. And way she's so good, my yeah. lead. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. I, what was what was fascinating we discovered last night is it was your first film. I couldn't believe that. Honestly, oh, I mean, you. it looks like you've done about thirty films. Like honestly. Oh, yeah. um, but how? What with your process as a, as a director, or even like how you want to be as a director? Like, what? How do you work with your actors? Like, kind of what? What's your process? Um, it was a lot of I think so much happened in preparation for it. I mean, mm -hmm. the story is like three years ago I came up with it, and so it was a lot of prep and then working with them in rehearsals and sort of telling them my story and what this is and uh, asking them about their time in school right now because they're the same age as, you know, yeah. the characters. So, um, you know, all of that, so they really get a sense of it. And then we actually did all rehearsals over Zoom because it was the pandemic. Oh, and then wow. I met them in person for the first time on set. What? That's yeah, amazing. The That's morning, such great chemistry. It was fantastic. Like the morning of shooting and I was so scared because I was like, uh, you know, but um, uh, I met them and uh, it worked out great and yeah, so that's that was, a, that's amazing. Wow, yeah. on Zoom and then straight on on set. That's yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. Um, now making your first film, I mean, I, I, I had never made a film as a director, so I don't know, but like as a director, like, 
was that kind of scary? What things did you kind of uncover maybe on set that were challenges or, or maybe things you're even surprised at? Um, I mean, the first, when they call, when you call action for the first scene and uh -huh. like the prep for the very first scene is so nerve wracking because I don't know, you're just like, what am I supposed to be doing? How am I supposed to be rehearsing with them right before? Yeah. Like, there's so many moving parts and you're, everyone's looking at you for direction. So yeah. for that first scene, it was terrifying. Um, and uh, I, I was scatterbrained, I didn't really know I had to like step back and my cinematographer who's incredible uh, was great because she's much more experienced than me so mm -hmm. she could sense when I was like frazzled and would take me aside and be like let's discuss this and you know what are you thinking and mm -hmm. so that helped uh, during the process but I think the most challenging part was that those first few scenes and yeah. getting in the rhythm of it and then after yeah. that it was it was much better um, and there were also some you know timing things because like with kids you can only do eight hours a day yes absolutely so we had to you know s we were concerned about time stuff and squeezing things and uh you have to like cut at the last minute things that you may not have planned to so mm -hmm. uh all of that i think was and 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 obviously as well there's so many new things that you learn when you're making your first film yeah. um how do you go about trying to discover how you're going to fund this thing uh what was the kind of experience for that for you yeah um so we got a grant from uh an organization, NYC Women Filmmakers, which Great. which was really helpful to us. Um, and uh, it helped us with post, and through them we connected with Nice Shoes, which is a coloring company yeah. in New York City, and they have outfits everywhere. But uh, they colored our film for g a crazy small amount of money. That's amazing. Um, and they usually work with big clients, and so we were expecting them it to be a no. We were like, this is our budget, and we were like, they're gonna laugh at us and send us away. And they were like, yeah, we'll take it on. That's incredible. Um, yeah, so uh, the grant and then connecting with Nice Shoes, I think, really helped us uh, put it together money-wise. So yeah. Fanta oh, fantastic! <laughs> well done, well done, you. Well, listen, it was such a, it was so great to see your film on a big screen yesterday, and I was up in the tech box, and it was so great to hear the reaction <laughs> from the audience. How has it been for you being on the road with the film? We certainly loved having your film at New Filmmakers LA. What was that experience like? Uh, thank you. Yeah, it was seeing it with an audience is so funny because they'll laugh at things that I was like, okay, maybe it's a little bit funny, but not like laugh worthy. <laughs> but then people laugh, and I'm like, oh, yeah. that's great. Like the scene when she has the band aid right after um, she's, you know, shaking. I like, love. I was like, no. I know it's like a little bit quirky, but then people always laugh at that yeah. scene, and I'm always it. It's it's so fun when people are like laughing at stuff that yeah. you've created and. Um, uh, yeah, so it's it's been great. It had it showed a few times in New York City, mm -hmm. uh, which was really fun. Uh, dragged all my friends out there, and I was yeah. like, "You guys gotta come <laughs> for this." Um, and the actresses also came out for uh, the first time at screen, so they got to see themselves oh, wow. on the big screen. And they're so young, so they were you know their parents came and they were like thrilled to to have that experience. So. Yeah. Do you, did they did they know you you, they, you found some great emerging talent of the future because they were fantastic, <laughs> right? Yeah, no, they're great, and I yeah. I don't know if they know it, but uh, you know they. They're going places because they're yeah. Places. yeah. No, fantastic. Yeah. Well, credit to you for you know helping them on their way. Um, what is next for you? I'm kind of I'm kind of excited by this. What is next for you? Um, so the America Girl, I wrote it as a feature first, yes. and then um, I don't have the money to make a feature. I still do not. We we we're searching for money. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> every camera, listen up. Okay. <laughs> yes. So uh, I think the goal is to uh, get funding for for that. Mm -hmm. um, and to be able to make that. Um, also, considering making it a TV show and yeah, maybe yes. not a movie. So I had this thought last night when I was talking to a friend, so I was like, okay. Um, just thinking about, you know, because there is a full story that I initially came up with, so just a yeah. way to tell that and however best to do it. Um, so yeah, I think that's the main thing that's next, uh, yeah. I'm ready for it, I'm ready for <laughs> it. And, and, and now that you've made your first film, and looking back on it, for any filmmakers out there that either the filmmaker made their 30th film, but any filmmakers out there that have made their first film, is there any advice that you could share with your audience? Um, I think for me, like, the biggest thing I learned was when you trust in your collaborators to bring things and bring their vision, because um, it'll make your story and your piece so much better. Uh, I really, uh, you know, trusted in the input of everyone that I collaborated with and it, yeah. it made the story so much better and to really find those people who understand it so that when they do bring their input they you know it's coming from a place of care and uh, yeah I think that's the best part of the process and that's uh, yeah 
<laughs> yeah, no, fantastic. Well, listen, thank you so much for, I mean, it's worth going through those journals, you see, we made a whole yeah, movie now, it's amazing, <laughs> right? Um, no, thank you for joining us from New York City. Thank you for Amerigal. We can't wait, whether it was a TV show or a feature, we're up for it, okay? So thank you very much. Thank we appreciate you so much. it. Thank you so much. everybody.